Welcome to the basic document editing webinar. What we'll cover here is how to tweak some of the custom documents that exist in Mercury and then how to merge the documents with your opportunity data. This webinar all takes place in Mercury Desktop, not in the browser. Mercury Desktop allows for much easier document editing. It integrates with Microsoft Word, so it allows you to open documents, edit them in Word, and then save them directly back to Mercury. So if you're following along with this, make sure you're using Mercury Desktop, not running through a browser like Internet Explorer or Chrome. So what we're doing is looking at the documents that exist in the opportunities already. We'll be looking at how we can customize the documents that generate when you click on these buttons here. Now these documents are located in the Documents tab, Merge Templates. There are a number of other documents as well that you can customize, but today we're just going to run through one of the documents, the Credit Proposal Disclosure, and show you how you can tweak that document. So we'll open the document from the Loans Compliance folder. This stores all of our compliance documents. The one we'll be looking at is the credit proposal. As you can see it comes up with the preview on the right here with a bunch of tags and these tags bring data from your CRM and put them into the, docu into the document when you generate it. You can see there's some red text down the bottom here. This needs to be customized with this particular document. Most of the documents are good to go. Um, they may just need a logo added. Uh, but this one in particular, it should have uh, the, these red parts actually customized. So what we'll do is copy the record. You can't edit the master documents. What you'd need to do is copy the record first. Just give it a name. Okay, this one was for ABC Mortgages. You'll see a copy is made here. It doesn't have master in front of it. And this is the version we can actually edit. Now if you click on view, you will just download the template. But what we want to do is double click on it to open it. In the browser version, you can't double click on it. It just downloads it straight to your computer. With the desktop, if you double click, it actually opens this box here, which lets you edit while you have Mercury open. So we'll click on Edit Document. And you've see, you see this button changes to Upload Changes. What it's done is it's opened the document in Word. And we can now make some changes here. So for this webinar, we won't actually cover these tags in much detail. We're just going to cover basic functionality, like if you'd like to customize the font, just for just to show you what happens. We'll change this font to red, make it a bit bigger. We'll add some spaces here. We'll make this this font here green. It's very basic customizing. You can change the layout a little bit. Scroll right down here, and this is where you would edit the text here. So you'd actually put in a name here, add an amount, and this is of course custom to your company, so that will come from you. So we'll change this to Joe Webinar. And we'll put in an amount here. Just make all of this black. We did forget to change the second name here. We'll change that as well. So we have or will pay Joe Webinar a fee equaling approximately $1,000 for referring you to us. This small fee is an appreciation of Joe Webinar having sent us your valuable custom. This fee is not paid by you. 
And what you can do as well is you'll see there's a logo tag at the top. If you have a number of companies operating within the same Mercury setup, what you would do is make a separate document for each company and place their logo here over the logo tag. The logo tag brings through the default logo that's uploaded in Mercury. So if there are a number of companies, you just remove the tag and upload your logo into the Word document. I'll give an example here. We've just added a connective Mercury logo. And we'll save the changes. Now once you've saved the changes here, you would go back to Mercury and click on the Upload Changes button. And that takes all of the changes you've made and applies them to the template that you've copied. You'll see a little preview here and we'll finish editing. Right, so it's as simple as that. That is how you tweak the customer documents. I'll quickly show you how you pull this data through from the opportunity, just to show you what it looks like. So because we've only got one version of the credit proposal disclosure, when we click on this, it's going to bring the custom document that we've just made. That has pulled through all of the details from the opportunity and essentially it's made your credit proposal disclosure with a click of a button. All of that uh, red text down here is now black and that should be ready to send to clients. Now if you have made more than one copy of the credit proposal disclosure, I'll quickly run through what would happen then. Just say we've made another custom document here. XYZ Mortgages is also operating. So what would happen when you click Credit Proposal Disclosure? It actually shows all three versions, the master and both of your copies that you've made. So by default, if you've only made one, it will generate that. And if you've made more than one, it'll give you the option to choose. So that's it for the basic document webinar. There is a more advanced document webinar which we'd recommend. It goes over all of the tags as well. So it, it covers a document editing in depth and recommend that you view that after this one if you have any more advanced questions.